Shalom, everyone. Um, I'm coming out here today because I have a very important announcement for the wise. Only the wise is going to understand what I'm saying. Only the wise of Yahuwah will be able to find this hidden code that Joseph B. Lumpkin left for us, y'all. Joseph B. Lumpkin. And it was hidden. And it was hidden for a reason. And it disconfirmed what I found. Well, what I knew. I just knew this. And the reason why I knew this, I, I want to give credit to the Ruach. The Ruach gave me understanding on why we have 365 days and why we also have 366 days in the son's year. Okay. And Joseph put a code in there, y'all. And only the wise can find it. Okay. But first, let me do this. Because anything that's copyright, I just want to let you know, whatever I'm sharing as copyright is for educational purpose only. only. Forgive me, y'all, my tongue. Forgive me, y'all. I didn't have much time to prepare this page for today because I want y'all to hear this announcement. Do you hear me? This is, do you hear me, Israelites? It's very important that you hear what I'm saying unto you. Let me give you the date of this word. Well, not the word. The date of this announcement. This is for the elect, for the wise of the Israelites, of Yashrael. Okay? Hear this, this day. There is a code that was hidden in Joseph B. Compilation of first, second, and third Enoch. And the Ruach will lead you to find it. It is there, but it has been hidden from the masses. And now I understand why. Okay? It will confirm unto us what I knew because of the spirit of Yah. Remember 1 John chapter 2, verse 27. John chapter 14, chapter 15, and chapter 16. Okay? This is what I knew because of his spirit. The Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. I knew that the reason why there was a change from going from 364 to 365 and 366 of the sun year has to do with what related to Enoch age when he was taken and has to do with the number of books he wrote and the code that is in this book will reveal it and confirm what I'm telling you okay far as the date of this announcement because you know we're in Satan's kingdom. We're in the fourth beast kingdom. And the heathen date is March the 7th in the year of 2021 AD. And you know they named their days of the week after the uh, things that are in the heaven. The things that are created by Yah. So they call this day Sunday because they worship the sun. In the Latin tongue it would say Dies Solis. And they begin their day, y'all, from midnight to midnight because they are the children of darkness. And they follow after their father of darkness, who is Satan. Mm -hmm. But, you know, our father's counter is an opposite of the beast. Our father counter will bring you into the light and give you the understanding of the biblical prophecies and the mysteries that are written in the King James 6 and 11. Many of you do not know there are many prophecies that has not been fulfilled that's in the Old Testament, starting with the book of Genesis. Many of you do not know this. Okay. So far as the most high date, we are in his 12th month and the Hebrew name for the 12th month is Adar. And I will be coming out with a, um, with a message on what Adar means, the mystery of Adar. Far as the day we are in, we are we are on the twenty third day of the twelfth month. Far as the year, we are in the eighth day from Adam, which is the thirteenth day of creation. 
And soon I will be coming back unto you to give you more insight about the 7,000 year prophecy or the seven day prophecy. And it's in the King James 611 Bible, as well as in the Jewish writings. It's in the Yahaz writings, y'all. And I found another Israelite that have it in his writings too, that would confirm everything that the Father has given unto the prophets. It was given to the prophet Ezra. Yes. For as where we are in prophecy, according to Enoch, we are in his eight week of Enoch's 10 week prophecy. For as the phase of the day, because when you read Genesis chapter one, you will learn that the evening was darkness and the morning is daylight. And the two combined together makes a whole day. So we are in the daylight phase of the whole day. Do you see where I'm coming from? Far as the week, we are in the fourth week of the Most High Calendar. And we are on the first day. As you see, we're not like the heathens. For we don't name the days of our week after the hosts of heaven or after his creations. Okay? Far as the date of the sun, it is the sun's 12th month and 17th day. And as you see, the sun with Maseroth dictate unto us we are in the last month of winter. We are not like the heathens. For our new year which shall begin in spring. That is the commandment. That is the instruction that come from heaven above. Satan and man has the whole world beginning their new year in winter. That is wrong. For as the beginning of our day, we start our day from sundown to sundown, from light to from light to light, for we are the children of light, because we are Adam. And Adam was made to be in their image. So we do as our father do. We think as he think. We live our life according to the way he lived his life in heaven. For what's done in heaven is done in the earth. So when you understand the mystery of the covenant, which is the law, when you understand that mystery, then you, then you will learn that in the beginning, the covenant was established with Adam. We have always been in covenant with them. We are married unto them. Mysteries. For those who want to do further research, you will learn that the Gregorian calendar cannot give you any of the most high holy days. This is why it's so important that, that you learn his calendar now. For the Father is going to do a great miraculous sign this year, revealing unto you, you cannot use his calendar to keep a remembrance of the Passover to keep a remembrance of the day when the Messiah was crucified. Very important. Also, you will begin to understand the mystery or the prophecy or the message that was given to the prophet Hosea. Oh, yes, that's a mystery what Hosea had revealed unto us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm going to attach this video right here. To this announcement, because I want you to hear the mystery that was revealed unto us in class the other day through his prophets. And that video I'm talking about is the 358 rule and the lunar epoch. Because the prophets of Yah, the prophets of God, had declared it, and we shall have a 13th month. For the heaven had messed the sign for the heavens. And the earth have manifest the signs unto us. And it's coming, y'all. It's coming. Okay? So please check out that word and hear the mystery about the prophet Hosea of the prophecy that he gave unto us in chapter 6. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we start... Oh, I'm sorry. So for further research, the Gregor encounter cannot give you any of the most high holy days. Not his new moon days, not his Sabbath days, nor his holy feast days. Okay? They even changed their weekly format and you didn't even know. It was right there before your eyes, but hidden. So guess what? The day that the heathen called Saturnine day, that you recognize as the Sabbath day, is no longer Saturnine day. Look up Rome, Italy, 1582. In the month of October, look at the great error they made. And America did the same thing 
in the year of 1752. When they realized they was not following the sun, they was losing time, y'all. Like I said, look it up and you will see it. Now let's get back to this announcement. So Joseph has hidden a code in this book. Okay. And I'm going by my copy of what I have. All right. What I have in my copy. I don't know what other people have in their copy, but in my copy, there were some things hidden. It was not revealed. And the father helped me to find it. I didn't even know it was there. Okay. But he stirred my spirits. He said, go back and review what you was teaching uh, and preaching unto the family. Yeah. I said, okay. So I went back and started reviewing. And I you know I was updating my notes, y'all. And then he led me to it. Lo and behold. So. To understand why there was a change for those who follow Enoch's calendar, which come from heaven above. This is God's calendar, y'all. This is Yahuwah's calendar. So this come from heaven above. You need to read first, second, and I'm, I'm, I'm also working on third Enoch. Reading on that, son. I'm trying, you know, well, because of all the stuff I'm doing, y'all. So I'm working on getting that completely read. But I have read first and second, and I'm going back and reviewing first and second. Read all of these prophetical writings that Enoch has given to us. Because through his writings, he's going to reveal you the enemy we truly need to focus on. The hidden ones. Those principalities. Those angels. For you will learn why in Torah there's an angel name that's mentioned when we keep atonement. And that angel name is Azael. He was one of the most wicked angels. He's one of the most, he's one of the angels you want to hope and pray you will never meet. He's evil. And only Enoch will reveal unto you what he did unto Adam. And he was the cause or one of the many reasons why the father had to bring the flood. Also, you will learn why there was giants in the land again after the flood. Oh, yes. Enoch tells you. And there's other books that would confirm it, such as the Sealed Book of Mormon. That was given a death, and within that sealed book is the Book of Moses. And Moses tells you why, but many don't want to hear. So in the video description box, I'm going to put a video that deals with the giants. And I'm going to show you what they did. This is why they don't want you to read these sacred books. But they don't want you to know who they are. That is your enemy. As the book of Ephesians told you, you're not dealing with flesh and blood. You're not dealing with mankind. You're not dealing with Adam. You are dealing with these angels and you're no match for them because you are in a fallen state. Do you hear me, Adon? Do you hear me, Israelites and Gentiles? You are powerless because you fail. Go back to the beginning. And the only way you can defeat them until you are fully restored by the Mashiach to take them down. All right, I said enough. Make sure the people preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, for it's truly at hand. Okay? But we can see the signs in the heaven and, the, and in the earth. To receive salvation, read Romans chapter 10 and follow those instructions. If you have no one to baptize you, guess what? The Father got you covered. All you have to do is find some water. You can do it in your bathtub or in your swimming pool. For the water is the second witness in the earth. As well as the earth and the heavens are his witness. And they can report back unto him of those who had entered into the renewed covenant. The renewed marriage. Okay. As far as the Holy Spirit baptism, he made that simple too. You don't have to go to no building. You don't have to go to no pastor, no prophet, no prophetess. All you have to do is ask in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, who, who is his son, the second Adam, and who is the living word. And he would give it unto you according to your heart, your faith, and your works. For Father know what is best. He For he know his children. Because we know when you get that Holy Spirit baptism, that powers that come with it, that's gifts that come with it. And he know that some of y'all can't handle that. Some of y'all will, will lose y'all soul and be cast to Sheol. And you don't want to go to that prison. You don't want to go to that place of captivity that he made for the angels to be. But if you want to remain wicked, 
and in your unrighteousness, he will send you there. All right, I said enough and get the word out because only the wise, only the elect of Yahweh will be able to find it. Shalom.